Hello there, Scorpio. Amy Energy here with a tarot message for you. Going to see how your person feels about you. Working with the Rover deck here. Keep in mind, this reading will not resonate for every Scorpio placement out there, so feel free to check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. You can book a personal with me on my website, amyenergy.online. All right, Prince of Cups over this reading. So really beautiful. There could definitely be a confession of emotions happening with this energy here. Very pure, very open and honest communication with the Prince of Cups, okay? Now, your person's current energy here, Scorpio, they're really going through it here with the tower. They could be, you know, going through some real hardships in the physical world. Okay, wow. Let's get a clarifier for Scorpio's person here for their current energy. Clarifying this tower. All right, six of wands, okay, with the working through it, okay, but it hurts. It hurts. Your person is really, they could be going through like a dark night of the soul here, really getting in touch with who they are, really understanding what they came on this earth to do, really getting in touch with their passion, okay? So they're having a victory, but it's like, they're having to work hard for it, and it hurts, okay, with this Three of Swords. Wow. Okay, how they feel about you? We have the Death card here. So let's see how this plays out. It's your card, Scorpio. All right, we got the Three of Cups to clarify that. So, wow, and there's the Page of Cups. So, you know, similar energy here with the Prince of Cups. Not exactly the same card, but um, very interesting here. I feel like your person, Scorpio, is very open to having good times with you. But, um, you know, this is deep. This is really deep. I feel like, you know, you and this person really do have a camaraderie that allows you to really get into those deep conversations and really have very transformative and healing times together, okay? So your person really loves and appreciates you. I, I truly feel that. They appreciate you. They're very open to your energy. Okay, the action that they would like to take towards you, the six of discs, success here, I feel like they want to invest in the relationship with you. Okay, nine of swords and nine of cups. So it's interesting here with the nine of cups, it's like we have everything, right? It's like, it's kind of like this person is wishing for contentment with you. Um, but there's, for some reason, they feel like they can't, they can't give enough to you, or maybe like they feel like it, they are too generous and you don't give enough back in return to them. Okay, and it, it stresses them out because I feel like they want to give to you, they want to give you their energy, but you know there there has to be some other situation some other aspects of the situation that are making them feel like they can't really give all that they want to give to you okay your person's current energy is the 8 of discs prudence coming out so i feel like your person is um kind of working really hard here absolutely oh my god look at that knight of pentacles and ace 
both trying to sneak out together. And they got the Seven of Swords here also. So I feel like, oh, they're really trying to get somewhere, and they're trying to get there by any means necessary with the Seven of Swords. You know, they might not be able to be 100%, 100%, 100% straightforward with you about what they want okay there could be some shame around what they do want okay they could be looking for someone to maybe like help them achieve stability in their life okay how they feel about you we have the lovers coming out um so this is how your person thinks you feel about them okay so your person really does feel like, oh, they feel like you are really passionate about them, right, in a sense. Like, sexual energy is 100% there, okay? This particular lover's card is quite sexy, you know, a little bedroom scene there. And the Ace of Pentacles, I mean... We cannot deny how phallic it looks. So um, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting here is your person feels like you have the sexual attraction to them for sure. But the Five of Swords is here. So your person's also feeling defeated in a sense when it comes to you. Um, your advice here, Scorpio, is to process here with the Four of Swords. Really think about the situation okay um i don't know that we want to like make any moves just yet we're processing we got the two of wands coming out so yeah we're trying to understand you know how this person could fit into our life how we can move forward okay because I do feel like you are sort of understanding this in a sense. Like, you're understanding this person's perspective. Like, they could be thinking you're all about the sex with them and you don't want, and that's not what they want, right? They're really looking for someone, whether it's financial stability or just, you know, that, that person who really feels like home to them. That's what your person's looking for here. And... So I feel like you kind of understand that and it's leaving you in a bit of a predicament here because you're not sure if you can move forward and offer this person what they want. What would this person say to you if they have the courage, okay? We have, I'm thinking of forever. I don't trust you and I'm very attracted to you. And I feel that 100% that's the energy I'm getting here. Like your person, they are well aware that you are sexually attracted to them. But they are thinking of forever. They're thinking of long term. The Knight of Pentacles is very slow and steady. But, you know, it, it has a, the Knight of Pentacles has a five-year plan, you know. They're working on something. And so I do feel like that's just where your person's at. If you don't want to evolve and build and go with them, then they don't want it because they're thinking of forever. And they don't trust you, but they still are very attracted to you, okay? Because death here is very deep. I feel like the connection between you, you just feel so comfortable together, right? Um. But with the Three of Cups, this can be more of like a friend vibe, right? So that could be a lot why your person doesn't exactly know what actions to take toward you because they're just like, oh my gosh, should I keep investing into this or should I invest somewhere else? Like I have, you know, I have resources. I feel like this is love though. Like it's actual, like your person really shows their love through physical acts whether it be you know making you a treat or you know just being in your physical presence and doing those like physical earthly things 
for you. And I feel like your person's like, okay, I got all this love and kindness in me to give. Um, and they're like, they want to give it to you, but if you don't want it, then they, they have to find someone else. And that's just, I feel like putting them in a, in a rough spot here. Okay, we have Elizabeth one coming out here. And this is for your person's energy, Scorpio. Have the heart of a man and the body of a woman. I would rather be a beggar and single than a queen and married. A clear and innocent conscience fears nothing. Okay, so very interesting here, Scorpio. I do feel like your person definitely has a very dynamic energy. Like, they're kind of, like, they're in this pentacles energy where they want that stability, but I feel like they are anything but boring here. Um, you know, because the, pen the pentacles can be a little boring. It is, like, it's the mundane, the day-to-day. -day the physical world, but I feel like your person's actually pretty fiery here with this energy coming out, you know, so they could really expect a lot from you, and that could be another reason why you're really processing if, you know, trying to understand if this is something that's sustainable for your life to actually invest in this person, okay? Let's get a card for your energy, Scorpio. All right, we have Laverne Cox. No one is going to have pleasure on your behalf. Go out and claim yours now. Let them love you for who you really are. Embrace those closest to you so your warmth and power make them strong like you. Wow, that's beautiful, Scorpio. Wow. And that's what, that's kind of the energy I'm feeling a little bit here. Like, you do make them feel strong, right? Because the death card and this three of cups is with you. So, you know, when they're going through this tower moment, like radical changes and shifts in their life, and they're navigating that, you know, they might be really craving your energy because you can handle that transformation with ease, right? So, yeah, really beautiful here. Scorpio, I mean, the magician, the prince of cups on the bottom of the deck, and I'm falling in love, okay? So there is someone here who loves you. I feel like you actually do love them back with the prince of cups. You could be feeling like it's just a bit too impractical, right? It's more of like a daydream you have. Like, look, you got this silhouette of a woman's body up in the brain here. So Scorpio, regardless of gender here, you could just have someone's like body in your mind. They could be thinking about your body, right? This so... There is this like very ethereal connection between you and another person here. But the magician is here as well. So I do feel like it's, you know, it's kind of a time where we are, we're standing on our own. Like we're making the choices that are best for us. But also I feel like you know, these cards are begging you to ask, like, is what's best for you to be alone, right? Because maybe we just need to take action towards somebody, and that would be what makes us the most happy, okay? Um, but I'm going to leave it there because it's a general reading, so we'll just end with the bottom of the deck here. We have beauty is the promise of happiness and a guarantee of despair. When I leave, you shall have no kisses left. 
To love, you must ignore the difference between pleasure and pain. Oh, that's kind of dark. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Take it how it resonates. If you want to book a personal, you can do so at amyenergy.online. Donate to the channel on Venmo or Cash App at Amy Energy. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. TikTok at Amy Energy 3. But most importantly, I love you, Scorpio. Take care.